Welcome to App Design Tips. Today we're going to talk about task analysis and how you can apply this process in your experience design. <laughs> so what is task analysis? It's simply a process that you can use to understand users' goals and behaviors to see how they achieve a certain goal. Task analysis is a process you can use for user-centric design, which is basically designing with the user in mind, understanding their goals and their behaviors and their perspectives so that you can design a more pleasant experience. Now, to help demonstrate task analysis, I've written an article on Adobe XD's website, and this has some diagrams that we're going to be using. Now, there are many processes we can use in user-centric design, such as A-B testing or even conducting user interviews, but task analysis begins before you even start designing. So in this task analysis, we're going to look at a real world example of how users on Pinterest pin recipes and specifically go shopping for and cook that recipe within Pinterest. Now, Pinterest is great for pinning recipes and saving different ideas to cook later, but it doesn't work so well as a tool to help you go shopping for or actually cook the recipe. And in this example, I want to show you a walkthrough of how someone that pins recipes might perform these tasks. So we have Pinterest opened up and let's say it's game day and we have some chicken wings that we want to cook. We're going to come in here to our user profile and we'll click on our boards and I have game day cooking. This is where I save all of my recipes. And if I want to go shopping for and cook this recipe, I'm going to find it here under maple mustard chicken wings. And this is what I want to cook here. So first of all, I have to perform an additional step of visiting the site. So it's going to pull up this site for me. And then as I browse through here, I browse through an article first, some ads, and come down here, and I finally have access to the actual ingredients clear down here at the bottom. Now I can see the servings here are 3 pounds, which is about 9 people, and I want to convert this to 18 people. So I don't have a conversion tool here in Pinterest. So what I do when I'm cooking these wings is I perform this task analysis, I can see that the user is going to highlight the ingredients, something like this, and then they'll open up their notes app and simply paste these ingredients within notes. And within here, they're going to perform a task that includes cognitive load, which means they have to think about a certain process to perform the task. So here, I'm going to double each unit. So instead of three pounds, I'm going to multiply this by two and use six pounds. Over here, I'm gonna change this to one cup and so on and so forth. So from here, I can select all of this text here and I want to come and format this into a checklist and now I'm ready to go to the grocery store. So as the user goes to the grocery store, they're also looking for these ingredients and they don't quite know which aisle everything is in. So they're going to spend some extra time looking for finding those aisles and that's some additional cognitive load too. So they have to think about which aisle each thing is in. So the meat is probably simple to think about. They're going to check that off. A pure maple syrup, they might not know which aisle that's in, so they have to go and ask someone what aisle that's in. We have the Dijon mustard. And so they may spend an hour or so at the grocery store trying to find these ingredients. But by the time they do, they're going to come back and have these ingredients on the counter and they're ready to cook. Now to cook this recipe, I've got to jump from notes back into Pinterest here. And there are oftentimes it doesn't even save your place. So we have to click on our user profile again, go into our boards or our pins, and find that maple chicken wing. So we have it here. And then we have to come over here. We have the ingredients here. We're going to click visit so we have the instructions on how to cook this. We're going to come down here and we'll finally see those instructions right here. So now we still have to remember that we're doubling the ingredients here but we can use these instructions to start cooking the recipe. So you can see in performing this task analysis, there's jumping between apps, there's manual conversion of recipes, and there's also wandering around aisles, figuring out what aisle you're going to shop for. So this real world example was performed for a client of mine, Favorites, and this app was created to simplify some of these tasks to make the process of shopping for and cooking the recipe much simpler. So I want to show you after performing this task analysis how Favorites simplified the process. So now I'm in Favorites and when you first install Favorites you can connect it to your Pinterest account so automatically anything you pin inside of Pinterest is going to be inside Favorites. Those same recipes that you love pinning are going to be automatically inside of here. So I can click on my profile here and you can see all my Pinterest boards here. You can see a P here saying that it actually imported this from Pinterest. And I have that same game day cooking board 
this collection that I saved. So I can click on that, and if I scroll down, I'm going to see that same maple mustard chicken wings. So now, the same process, I'm going to click on here to see if this is something I want to make, and we can see that it serves nine people. So to convert this or scale this up, I'm just going to come over here and tap 18. So I've just removed the need to import this into my notes app, use a checklist, and convert those manually. So now I know that I need six pounds of chicken wings, one cup of maple syrup, and we have the directions down here. So now if I wanna make this and when I wanna go grocery shopping, I can tap on this calendar right here, and I can decide to make this today. So I'm going to tap on Saturday, and I'll tap done. Now I can come over into my grocery list, and I have a grocery list of everything I want, and it also has some smart features showing me which aisle I'm going to find each thing. So one of them's in the condiments aisle, the spices and seasonings, and so it's helping me find these things much faster. And after I add these items to my list here, just check those off, they start to disappear and come down to the completed. And I can tap directly on this recipe here and begin making this recipe in the same app with much fewer taps. So the main takeaway in performing task analysis is you want to design a more pleasant experience, but you don't want to give up the tasks and the experience that a user already has that they love. So to understand how they meet a certain goal and the task that they achieve, you can retain that same pleasant experience, such as pinning those recipes in Pinterest, yet still add on to that experience and give them a more pleasant experience where some areas might be more painful. This also makes sure that you don't miss important steps that are needed to achieve the goal and that you have the right data and perspective to solve these problems efficiently. Now, if you wanna see the diagram I created as a result of this task analysis, you can visit xd.adobe.com and I'm gonna have a link in the description below so you can go ahead and click there, read this article and learn better ways on how you can perform task analysis. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified of future videos.